All right, Brick Maniacs, it is time for another sit rep episode of Brick Mania TV. We're going to change gears here a little bit. Um, we have a new thing we're starting. We're going to be featuring a, a different series of uh, just different kits and minifigures throughout uh, the following months. So right now, we are focusing on the Space Race. Space Race, correct. Yeah, you want to talk about that a little bit? Sure, like in the spring this year, we did a whole series of kits on, on Space Race theme. Um, we will uh, be doing more in the future, but for now, we have, we have it on pause. But we're going to give you an opportunity to get in on the first edition sets um, at 30% off. Yes, 30% off. So we're featuring them now. Um, there's some really cool stuff. Yeah, some, some Real cool historical cool stuff. stuff. We're coming up on a lot of anniversaries. Um, and have been. I mean, we're in the kind of the golden age, yeah. the 50th anniversary of a lot of uh, a lot of firsts in yes. space. Um, um, but let's let's talk about what we have. Yeah, we got the Mercury Mercury Control Center. This is just a massive. Ma I think there's more tiles and printed minifigures in this thing than any other kit that we've ever done before. There are still a couple uh, copies left, so get them while you can. Right, right. Is is the whole control center? This box is is really really not it's deceptive <laughs> it's not doing it justice how this box if this was like a lego <laughs> kit it would be like right off we, the we screen. managed to fit the whole thing into this little box um after after doing that we sort of realized the folly of like putting such a massive set it actually is a ma massive control room yes. and you get all the people all the figures it's like what is a dozen or more printed figures yeah something like that 15. yeah so if you spring on this right now with that 30 percent savings you can save a total of 138 bucks that's huge that's huge even more if you're an elite member oh, oh yeah 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 and yeah and also if you if you go to one of our stores and have one of those coupons uh oh so, yeah 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 the every month we put out flyers if you have them make an order typically you'll get a flyer uh, look at the look at the flyer closer usually a coupon you can use it online or in one of our stores yes too. uh also and, and even at events that we go to yeah, so, yeah. extra extra savings we have the uh, friendship seven is also right here and there's a box behind um, that's a savings of 61 bucks and 50 cents so this is a great chance to pick up that you know if you, it, maybe it was a little bit out of your budget at back when we released it but now it's just a now's your opportunity and, and if, you do, if you don't remember history you don't know friendship seven was john glenn's capsule yeah. john glenn was the first american to orbit the earth in space right so right. this is this is you get the rocket the capsule and of course you have the famous astronaut yes and what else do we have there's, there's a whole bunch of different things we're um tile pack as well speaking of tile pack um we're doing a giveaway and that kind of coincides with this oh, really? okay. yes um next week so th yeah this is the 30 percent sale Spring on that. That's going to be going for maybe the next month or so till the it's till end of September. Yeah, end of September. So end of September. So, so end of September. Then we switch it up. We're going to do another yeah. another rotating. So what was on sale before is no longer on sale. Right. Now we have a new a new a new yes. uh, round of sales, and then we'll be keep we'll do yeah. it rotating until I don't know when. We don't have it. We don't we'll have an end date. We're just going to keep <laughs> rotating it. Uh, uh, so this is while supplies last. But yeah, speaking of yeah, this, right. supplies last. If if we sell out of one of these yeah, things, yeah. chances are. We won't do it again. You're going to have to wait for the next space. Uh, so this, yeah, series. this, uh, this space sale coincides with the next week's giveaway. We're going to be giving away a Mercury Mission tile pack, and that's got all the different tiles that you saw. So we did a whole Mercury focus mission. on the Mercury missions. Of course, people who are are following, who know a little bit about the space race, will know that Gemini is up next. So, yeah. Uh, so cool. look for that in the future. But for now, for now. Mercury is is the theme. Yep. And uh, yeah, Mercury tile pack will be the giveaway for that. Super hashtag. cool. So yeah, the hash. So just use hashtag Brickmania Brick on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yes. Finally, a good use for Twitter. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so, so, so just share some cool content, ha use the hashtag, and you are automatically entered to win this tile pack. That's awesome. Um, who won last week, Dan? I don't know. Let me see. Here, we're going to pick the winner right Ooh, now. Oh, look at that. LimaBean79. On uh, Twitter. On Twitter. See? I told you. Twitter. So they That's posted up a Night Raid diorama with two little birds. Check that out. That is awesome. Nice. And this person, they won a... Late night show talk show host. Late Check night, that out. Yep. Talk show host. Limited edition John Canepa yes. created original minifigure. Um, yes, and that was a a one that was brought home from yeah, Comic, Comic Con. Con. Very very rare. We only made a few of these, and most of them are in the hands of Comic Con attendees. Right. Yes. Exactly. So if cool. you didn't go to Comic Con, here's your chance. Right on. Hashtag um, Rick Mania. Moving on to some other cool stuff. What do you want to talk about? Well, let's talk about the new releases that just came out. Sure. So first, we'll talk about this week's releases. This is, this is the releases that are that came out on, on last Monday. Technically, we have the Black Bess. It is a World War One Mark IV 
female tank. Right. Uh, female meaning it was all machine guns. It has four or five, uh, five Lewis guns. Oh wow! So it five Lewis bristling guns. with Lewis guns. Right. Super right. Cool. So this that's that's the, the new release kit. The add-on pack for it. It's actually a conversion pack. So we call it an add-on pack, but it actually you have to take apart part of your Black Bess to use the parts in that to have the male Mark V male. Male just means it has two six-pounder guns. Right, just different gun configurations. Yeah, they took off two of the Lewis guns, put the, the had the side sponsors with these big these big cannons in it. Um, that's the conversion pack. It's an extra add-on, and we also have. Uh, is this the first time we're showing off this guy? Uh, yeah, I don't know if we. Is it? I'm not sure. We, um, we, we didn't. They were still printing the last time. Right. When we, when we did our. So video. check this out. This is a World War One British tank crew, right? Is that what we're? Right, tank, is that? Yeah, it is a tank crew. Uh, so I was just wondering the, if that was the exact name of them. Um, yes, World War One British tank crewman. Um, I think I've shown this guy off, but let's do another little quick rotation here. So he, super cool. he, he, when you buy the Black Bess or, and or, the, the, the conversion pack, I hope you buy, if you're going to buy the conversion pack, I hope you actually have a Black Bess to convert. So. Yes. Otherwise you'd be sorely disappointed. <laughs> you're just going to get a bunch of parts that make no sense. Oh no. But you do not get a figure, so we actually sell them. Yeah, figure. We're, we're doing a standalone figure. Uh, there's so many of you out there that maybe the tanks are a little bit out of your price range, but you still love the minifigures, so now we're making them <laughs> Um, right. Maybe not with every kit, but we're going to try it as much as we can to have these available as a standalone, which is super cool. Right, and also, we, I think we told you in the video that there is no like cool hatch to have the, the commander posing on it. So we figured, well, why even bother putting them in there if you want to detail the inside of your, you know, your your tank? There already is details inside the the black vest. Yeah. But there's no crew in it. If you want a crew, I think there's like eight guys that go in that thing. So uh, if, it's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, of course, we have them available. Here we go. For for you to do. Um, you know, the Americans actually use these tanks too. Ooh. So you could you could do an American. I could, tank. I should. Yeah. Let's put it on the list of stuff to do. On the, the, list. the never ending list of cool things I, you want to get to. I think they probably wear pretty much the same equipment, it's just slightly. It's coveralls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um cool. Black bass, mail conversion kit. Sneak peeks, let's do that. So what's coming out? This is actually gonna probably by the time you see these video, we will have these up on the site. This is John's uh, redo of the SU-76. So remember, we put out an SU-76, um, I don't know, three, four years ago. Um, and we're, we're, we're heading back into this Kursk, you know, mm -hmm. the, the an 75th anniversary of the Battle of Kursk, like what's the most logical things to release at the time? SU-76, one of the most widely used Russian, Soviet uh, self-propelled guns. Um, it's based on a, uh, what is it, a T-70 light tank hull and they stuck the 76 millimeter gun, so basically their their standard howitzer, right. our field gun, um, on this hull. A couple of guys in it wasn't wasn't super popular with the crews. Apparently, it was hard to drive, and, uh, but they made they made these by the thousands. Right. So it's sort of the ubiquitous mobile artillery yep. piece of the the Red Army during World War II. Yeah. And if you haven't noticed, or if you haven't seen this model before, it is decked out with this crazy beautiful sticker pack designed by our very own <laughs> Slam. Beautiful dirt. Did a good job. Dirt. Yeah, it looks like it's like, looks like it's been sitting out in the mud. It's exactly. I mean, that's that's <laughs> yeah. It, this is really cool. Along with these like different track links, we, we're using different colors to kind of. It's it's supposed to look like a grungy, dirty tank. You still have to watch the video. I don't remember what it says in, in, in Cyrillic and Russian. On this he had a few different stickers. Um, I don't remember either, but you know, there's a few <laughs> different combinations that you can get. Super cool tank. So yeah, it's cool. It has you know the gun the gun does what it's supposed to yeah. do. The, the the doors open. There's many models of the SU-76 out there. This this happens to be just you know, I love it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, we have the Gaz AAA. Another, another reissue. This is yes. a reissue. Slightly, slight, actually, this, this is kind of deceptive because this is a, what you're seeing here. Oh, this is with the upgrade pack, right? right? It is an upgrade pack. Remember, a few years ago, we, we released the this, this Stalingrad battle pack. Yes. And it was really popular, so we basically recreated. Let me pull this apart here so I can, I can show you what, what, what we have. So this is the Gaz as it is. It's, it's right just, here, just this. It's just a truck. Just a truck. It's just a truck, but it's not just a truck because we are going to, just like we did with the CCKW, mm -hmm. the Sherman, and a lot of these other vehicles that we're doing, we are releasing add-on packs. Mm -hmm. So for the time being, we have the truck coming out. Of course, you can put the guys, it has opening doors, you know, the, the side beds and the tail, tailgate open up. That's just a truck, has a hitch on it so you can tow your Zeiss 3, mm -hmm. which you, of course you've already purchased, right? Um, so you can tow your gun, 
have your ammunition in. We are bringing back the battle pack sort of. Uh, uh, yeah, I think previously we would call this a battle pack, but now we're we're calling them just it's an add-on. It's, it's an add-on so pack, right? So you don't have to if you if you already have one of these trucks, if you have other trucks that would work with this. Um, you can just buy this add-on pack. And um, this would actually be a good standalone because you would see this. This is a quad-mounted Maxim, it's a four Maxim machine gun yep. mounted on a pedestal, and you'd have basically an anti-aircraft unit. Yeah, look at that. So, um, and it just looks it just looks super awesome. That right. configuration is... And one of the more common configurations would be to mount this in the back of the truck. So, right, exactly. Which is exactly what we've done here. So we, we have this. So you get the, you get the four guns uh, on, the, on the pedestal here. Oh. And then it also includes this crate. A special printed so it's crate. It's an ammo crate with some, a secret me message in Cyrillic there. <laughs> secret message. Secret yes. message. Uh, <laughs> somebody in the comments can probably translate that. So. <laughs> of course. Yes. So, uh, yeah, you do, you do get this crate. It's exclusive to this set. So basically, that's an add on. And I will tell you that there's more add ons already in the pipeline. Um, just a couple of examples. There's another uh, 25 millimeter anti-aircraft gun, uh, which we haven't done before. It's a brand new Soviet gun that Cody put together. Uh, a, a new um, regimental artillery piece that can be towed, and of course a canvas cover. There we go. So in a couple of weeks, you'll get those extra options. Super so cool. For right now, we just have the gas and the. Yeah, that's really. Exciting. I mean, that's a, that's a cool release. So every time we restock this, we're going to try and maybe match up an add-on pack to go a new add-on pack, maybe something like that. Yeah, there'll be more periodically. Just, 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 just so you know, just to wet your whistle, we have we have this <laughs> out here, and to get you excited, yeah. we have. Uh, uh, there's more coming down the pipeline. Just like there's more, there's more Sherman packs. There's more Ooh. all kinds of cool stuff. Got, awesome. we, I, we can't wait. We're like we're like giddy with excitement of all the new stuff that we have coming up. So. Dan Giddy. Giddy. I'm uh, Giddy. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> okay, we got some restocks as well. Sure, we got all these minifigs. So, well, minifigs and, and, and everything else. Let's start with the minifigs. That's let's Storm talk and about Norman. Him. Storm and Norman. Um, we didn't yeah. think this guy was going to come back. We did him once. And he was so popular that we like okay we can't not <laughs> we can't not do it. Four star general. Um, he's got the helmet on with that chin strap really smushing his face up. <laughs> this was yeah this was a real test for our printers. It has the 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 printing on this one this has to be so precise. I, I, I don't think that there's anything else on the market that is quite as involved in printing. There are lines, there's the, the so many lines that have watch. to line up. <laughs> the there are, band that goes around there. There are wristwatches. I mean, I th to my knowledge, we're one, of the, we're one of the only companies doing printing on the backs and the fronts of the arms. You'll see other companies, they'll do computer renders where they're exaggerating where their camouflage stops. Our camouflage continues all the way around the arms. Nobody else is really doing that. Right, and and it takes so much time to make these things. That we're probably, you know, if we do Storm and Norman again, it's going to be a long time. Yes. So, so he was famous for his dual watches. So he had a just a Japanese watch on one side, just his beater watch, whatever, and then a Rolex. Excuse me, a Rolex on the other side. Uh, what, what, did he have two so, watches? Were they the same so one, time? So or? the Rolex was the uh, DC, and the uh, it was a Seiko. It's actually like this same watch, pretty much. Um, that's actually why I got into watches. So, I don't know. Uh, Storm and Norman. Yeah, seriously, it was. Um, so, so, so you know what time the. To, to so yeah, and that was president. this was local time. <laughs> so yeah, this was local time, and the Rolex was DC. So I guess that's to remind you where your money is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's where the boss is? <laughs> what time the boss is? Yep. Um, yeah, then next up is World War II British Infantry version 2. Yeah, this is another fancy 360. Yeah, 360 underarm printing. Um, Unbelievable. Yes, with the ammo pouches, pattern 37, I believe. Um, and then the chevrons on either side are texture printed, popping out a Do little people bit. People wonder why these figures come and go so quickly. Yeah. It's, and, and the price is there. It just, they take so much time, so much work to do. This is an example of like sort of the, the pinnacle of, of the printer's art and, and, the, and the artists yeah. putting their stuff together. It's really fun to see a design come to life and then the printer guys, they execute this so beautifully. They do a very good job. Right. My, my <laughs> fantasy would be to have a whole like diorama full of all these guys. But I, I know if I did that, you guys wouldn't be able to have right. it. Right. <laughs> Um, yes, so that is the V2. Sure, so that's V2. Then we have just a bunch of miscellaneous pieces. Yeah, I like the I like the loose parts. It's it's you know it's a if you don't want to buy an entire figure, it's always cool to buy. So just these are one piece see at a time. You can even see these in the camera. They're so small. These are these are modern gas masks. 
Uh, yep. Modern modern heads with the, with the gas mask on them. Black and gray seem to be the most popular colors. Always seem to be sold out. We did a bunch this time. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll have them for a little while. Uh, but if you're waiting to restock yes. your special forces, the, they, they, are, they are ready to go now. Yes, and that is based off a specific gas mask. I'm just blanking on the model number right now. Well, somebody I'm sure will tell yeah. us. Somebody, somebody a gas mask expert. And I went off, the, there's, it seemed like this one tended to have these cool green tinted lenses. I thought that was an interesting detail. So sure, sure. Then, this is the World War I World gas War I, mask. World War I, this is the French one, right? Yep. Um, and that's the texture printed. Yeah, that's um, cool. It has a respirator, actually. Yeah, the, the, the canister on the front there. Yeah. Maybe in real life it would hang down lower, but this is kind of a, a stylized minifigure version of it. So. so, And you can fit your helmet. You can put your Adrian uh, helmet right over it. It won't, it won't interfere with the helmet. Like right. Some of the other gas masks out there. Right. Gas mask options. And then we also have a couple of printed helmets. Of course, the Universal Blue mm -hmm. United Nations helmet. Right. That's the modern helmet. And then we have a military police, World War II. World War II. U.S. Army style. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Um, that's it for restocks. I think that's it for everything. There's more restocks, trust me. There's more stuff in the yeah. pipeline. It's crazy busy here. Absolutely. So, so yeah, don't, again, don't forget this this month we are focusing on the space race. 30% off all space themed kits, figures, off. tile packs, cool stuff like that. And all these discounts, you can use coupons, you can use your elite discounts. It will stack. Nice. That's super awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, keep that in mind when you are checking out our store. I believe these things are going to go fast. I think so. I, I think, think so. We're going to be out. So now clear the way for the next round of space yeah. race. Space race. Yes. Awesome. All right. That is the episode. For more information, check out brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching.